When Joseph Smith was entrusted to translate the golden plates, he was also given a set of Nephite interpreters and a breastplate. These and other devices enabled him to translate the Book of Mormon. Soon, the early saints recognized that these divinely prepared instruments were similar to the Urim and Thummim from the Old Testament, and they began to interchangeably refer to them by this biblical term. Some may wonder, though, how similar Joseph's New World artifacts actually were to the biblical Urim and Thummim. As far as the Bible itself is concerned, there's clear evidence that the Urim and Thummim was associated with a ceremonial breastplate worn by the high priest. Several sources suggest that the breastplate was designed to provide a pouch in which the Urim and Thummim could be kept. This nicely corresponds with William Smith's description that a pocket was prepared in the Nephite breastplate on the left side, immediately over the heart. When not in use, the interpreters were placed in this pocket. A number of sources also indicate that the biblical Urim and Thummim may have illuminated or projected shining letters. Similarly, David Whitmer explained that Joseph saw bright luminous letters when he looked in his translation devices. On other occasions, Whitmer referred to them as letters of fire and said that they appeared on the stone in light. There will likely continue to be scholarly debate about what the biblical Urim and Thummim was and how it functioned. Yet non-LDS scholars have fairly recently been reaching conclusions that strengthen the possible links between the Urim and Thummim and Joseph Smith's translation instruments. Joseph and the early Latter-day Saints, therefore, were certainly not incorrect to make this association themselves. And now you know why.